to finally be able to sit down and talk to you guys about kind of like what my future looks like personally and just kind of everything that I'm excited about uh, currently in, in my life. If you guys saw my last video, it was uh, pretty emotional, like goodbye, I guess. You definitely have to check that out. I'll put that down in the description below. So I mentioned in that video that I would have an announcement soon and that is this video and I'm so excited about it. I'm, I'm excited to finally share with you guys like kind of what I've been up to recently and what my plans are going forward in the future um, and just how genuinely excited I am to be doing what I'm about to do. So obviously when I moved back home to Minnesota to be back with my family and everything, everything's been going great. I had no idea like any of this would kind of just fall into my lap as it has. Um, it was announced shortly after I came back home to Minnesota that the Wilfs who own the, Vi the Minnesota Vikings, the NFL team, by the way, you guys all know I'm a massive, lifelong Minnesota Vikings fan. I've literally been following the team closely since 1998. We watch, I watch every game with my dad. It's, an, it's, ah, I don't want to talk about it because I'm so like ecstatic, but yes, big fan of the Vikings. Will family who owns the Vikings started Wise Ventures Esports and their first initial investment is this new Minnesota Call of Duty franchise. As well as the Wilfs, we also have Gary V, a very impactful investor and influencer in his own right. He's, uh, I've been following him for quite a while. He's amazing. Um, so he's he's also an investor as well. As soon as I heard about the Call, uh, the Call of Duty team announcement here in Minnesota, I was instantly like obviously interested. Like Call of Duty, my two favorite things. Call of Duty, Minnesota Vikings, esports. It just makes sense. I still was kind of wrapping stuff up with Optic though, and I wanted to make sure that like that kind of chapter was closed um, in, in its own rights which is sad, but that's the last video. Okay, this is this video. New chapter, new new video, new chapter. In my first couple initial conversations with Minnesota Call of Duty, I was right away like good vibes. Like they kind of explain like their mission statement or whatever you want to say to me, kind of what their goals are. Like do those goals like align with me? How does it make sense? How do I fit into that? Um, and we just had a lot of talks, just kind of going back and forth like, What's important to them? What's important to me? Does it make sense that we work together? Absolutely, frickin lutely it does. Um, so going forward, I will be working very closely with the Minnesota Call of Duty team. Uh, it's gonna be, it's very exciting. Like I said, I can't say the team name. I can't say too much other information that has not been announced yet, but I am ecstatic to begin working with them. I'm gonna start off in kind of like, I guess a little bit of a consulting role. Um, I think there's a lot of areas that I can help in and there's a lot of like areas that, you know, they need help in right now. I think that this is a new, they're new to the space, they're new to Call of Duty. They maybe don't have the same advantage of another team who's kind of already been in Call of Duty and they just bought a league spot, so it's easy transition. They're new, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not gonna be impactful right away and that's kind of why I think they wanted to work with me and why I wanna work with them. Like I said, um, they have similar goals to me. I think I can help them in a multitude of areas, whether it's um, helping with the players at first, whether it's helping build out, the, build out the super awesome HQ that we're gonna have eventually. Um, content, obviously, my strong point, I would love to help produce content. Managing a team obviously can help with that. Social media, like these are all things that I'm very experienced in within the Call of Duty Esports realm particularly. And so I think I, did, I do offer a lot of experience there that they see valuable and it just makes sense. I saw a lot of you guys on Twitter saying, um, oh my God, she changed your Twitter, because I did change my Twitter to Midnight MN. Girl Scouts Honor, okay, it had nothing to do with the Call of Duty MN team. I did know at the time that I changed it that I was most likely gonna be working with them. Um, but actually in my mind, in my own mind, there's so many variations of Midnight that are taken on Twitter that I've always saw, like if my name was an Optic Midnight on Twitter, I would make it Midnight MN, because this is where I'm from. Like regardless whether I work with this team or not, I'm always gonna be from Minnesota. I've lived here 27 and a half years, and I did that whole weird year and a half stint in Texas thing. And now I'm back though, I'm back home, and it's it's always gonna be my home base, even if I just, for some reason, ever move out of the state again, I don't foresee it, but you never know. Um, I still would consider Minnesota my home base. I love Minnesota, I love everything about it, except for the mosquitoes. But yeah, you guys get what I'm saying, it just makes sense. Um, a lot of people did kind of put two and two together, like, whoa, well, they should work with Midnight. I'm like, hell yeah, they should work with me. It's it's literally kind of like a dream gig that is just, like I've said, fallen into my lap and I'm just gonna take it as, you know, some good karma. Maybe I was a little bit due. I am very driven still, even though I'm not gonna be primarily a content creator, I still have a lot of interest 
in streaming, creating content, like that's still gonna be my thing. Midnight is not going away, I'm still gonna be midnight. You're still gonna be able to catch me playing a Call of Duty on my Twitch, and it's still gonna be a good time. I'm probably still gonna upload to this channel, but now, as I've kind of wanted to do for a little bit now, is to kind of have a more serious role within esports within the Call of Duty community and this is just the perfect opportunity for that and so I hope you guys support me in this I hope you guys follow my journey with Minnesota I hope you guys cheer for our team um, you will see me in some of the content that we start to uh, do with the team which is really exciting but also know that I'm working behind the scenes as well it's not just like this type of thing there's a lot of other stuff that I'll be doing for the team which is so exciting like I'm ah, I'm so excited to get, get started. I've already gotten started. The contract signed, it's in ink, it's there. It's official, it's official as of right now. I actually, this last week, I went to the Vikings headquarters, which is obviously, as a hardcore Vikings fan, always been like a goal of mine, I guess. Not a goal, but like it's very exciting for me because I'm a huge fan of the team. There's training camp going on right now, so that's very exciting. Um, but other than that, you know, going there and really kind of being shown the team name, being shown the branding, Nervous. You're making me nervous because now you're I'm nervous. nervous. You don't like it. It's gonna be bad. All right. Ooh. So the Minnesota. It's very unique, which I think is a good thing, especially if the logo. Like if this. I'm gonna. This is just like a little printout, but I'm imagining yeah, like the logo. Yeah, I'm imagining like a high res version of that logo is gonna look super sick. Yeah. And like I'm already like Close. thinking about like how like I like like the darker version yeah. better. I think that's really cool. Yeah, and that's, they did, the, they did it this way just to show how it would look on I can't show you guys obviously what that is right now, but just know that it's coming soon and I'm very excited about the team. I think it's gonna be freaking awesome. I think this opportunity is not only good for me and just what I wanna do, what my goals are, what my passions are, but I think this is good for Minnesota, it's good for Call of Duty Esports, and it's gonna be really interesting how everything kind of shakes out uh, with this. Cause this is a big transition for competitive Call of Duty as well. You have everything becoming more structured. There's regional teams. Like it's gonna be really exciting times and I just can't wait to get to work. Like I said, I hope you guys follow me um, along this journey. Like I said, I'm still gonna stream. I'm still Midnight. I'm Ashley and I'm Midnight. Okay, I'm the same person, right? I just hope that you guys still follow my journey um, and know that I'm not done yet. Just cause you know that, Last chapter of my life is closed. I'm not done. I still have a lot of goals. I'm very driven and I hope that you guys follow along for that. So yeah, it feels good to have it out there now. Um, officially working with Call of Duty Minnesota. Super excited um, to share more with you guys as we go. Thank you so much for anyone who supported me. By the way, last week, the, you guys blew me away with the support on last week's video and on Twitter and in Instagram, all that. You guys really uh, were so nice to me, so kind to me, and I really just appreciate that. A lot of you guys have been rocking with me for literally years, and I just really appreciate that. So thank you so much, really, from the bottom of my heart. Like, I mean it, that means a lot to me. Anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna go. I don't have a lot of other stuff to say other than I'm literally so genuinely enthusiastic for the future. Um, I'm excited to get to work. I'm excited to still stream. I'm excited for Modern Warfare. It's it's good vibes right now, and I I definitely needed them. I definitely needed some good vibes coming my way, and it's it's happening. So thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Leave a like on the video if you like. Did cool. Make sure to subscribe. I am still gonna upload. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I want to take my channel in a different direction. I'm just not exactly sure what that is whether it's gaming videos or more IRL videos, if you guys want like behind the scenes type, type of stuff. I don't know like what exactly I can do with that, but it's possible. Anyway, so excited to get to work. Stay tuned for more details. You guys are gonna wanna be in the know, so make sure to follow my Twitter. Follow CaughtMN on Twitter. I'll link down below uh, the Minis Call of Duty Minnesota Twitter that you guys can follow, just so you guys stay in the loop with our team, cause you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to, man. Anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll catch y'all. Is that a heart? Yeah.